Hey guys, Frank Flake here, founder of Ethical Property Partners, the place where we help you to make annual returns on your property on a monthly basis. I'm here with Matthew Jackson. Whereabouts are we, Matthew? We're in uh, Cross Garden, or Northern Ireland, as we like to say. Excellent, excellent. And we've been here previously with your dad, Ian Jackson, who's done two developments here, two identical houses, and you can go look at those episodes. But what I want to talk to you about today is actually these buildings behind us. Now, these are what, derelict farm buildings? Is that what you call them? Yeah, uh, they were part of a working farm at one stage. Um, it's part of our family um, sort of heritage. So uh, my grand, uh, before that, it was his uncle that actually sold it to him, I believe. And we, it's been kept in the family ever since. But uh, the farm sort of stopped in and around sort of maybe 40 years ago at this stage, we're probably talking. And it hasn't been used as a working farm since. So it's just derelict buildings here that we have and um, have kept in the family. And in EPP guys we talk about playing chess and thinking moves ahead. Now there's always additional layers of icing on, on a cake. We talk about the, the deal being the cake and we're actually stood now on the development that if, if we pa pan that way slightly you can see the house that's being built at the moment and then if we keep going you can see the finished house. Now all of this was actually land that was attached to the farm, is that's that right? right? Yeah. So we've got the, the house that's finished over there, we've got this one that's been built on the, the original farmland, but then we've got these derelict buildings and the actual farmhouse the other side. Right. And what the architects have now said, and this is so important to get stuff in the right order, to think chess moves ahead, is we wanted to build that one, then you want to build this one, and what that creates, which is very clever, is an infill site. So because we've got residential, 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 and these buildings, what's the plan? What's the architect said to do before yeah. you put planning in? Yeah, so the plan from the very beginning was always to get infill sites. So uh, believe it or not, there's 80 acres that actually came with this farm. This is pretty much the only real estate that, that, was, that was actually any good to us for development. Um, and so we built the first one as an infill site because there's a house just right there. And yeah. then there's the farmhouse, which made it an infill. Then we made, we're building the one that's in, in progress at the minute. Which you, can, which you saw there. And it is actually an infill site of the one we just built yeah. and the farmhouse. Farm. Yeah. And now the plans are now um, is to take these sheds down, or be flatten them, flatten them yeah. or sell them off or whatever my time and to actually get some planning permission on there for another house, maybe not just as big as these ones, but something similar to that again. And that would again be an infill site of the one that we're just building now and the farmhouse which we've owned all this time so it's all those moves that you have to do to get three houses on an area of, look like a postage stamp in comparison to the 80 acres of land that we had with the farm that we inevitably sold off as it was farmland and um, so that's sort of the plan for now absolutely and when you talk about oh there's a plot and there's a plot these are 450 500 thousand pound buildings 500 thousand pound houses and we've got oh one there another one there a third one there that's 1.5 million pounds worth of of building gdv gross development value and so it's so crucial to think moves ahead to think if we do this what the plan is going to say if the plan is say this what are we then going to do and what you've done very cleverly is you've had that all mapped out in advance so you know that you're not shooting yourself in the foot so it'd be so easy to put one house in the middle and miss out on the other two plots but because you and your dad have done this in the right order you're actually going to get maximum value from it i'm looking at the rest of the 80 acres getting excited <laughs> but uh, uh, an episode for another day guys if you've enjoyed this episode please do hit the subscribe button share it with anyone that you think will benefit from uh, our content and until next time happy investing